And now, here's A.C. Mike. Hey, folks, welcome back to the show. So glad that you're with us this afternoon. Beautiful out there, but you're indoors, in your head, in your ears with me. Here, A.C. Mike Lopez, Monday through Friday, noon till 2 p.m. So glad you're with us. Listen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce and uh, welcome to our show uh, the photographer, uh, rock and roll photographer. I could go on and on what this guy has done from album covers, CD covers, to great shoots, hanging out with some of the greatest rock and roll bands of our time. My man, Mark Weiss, Guy Weiss, welcome to the AC Mike Show on WOND. Hey, thanks for having me on, Mike. Uh, it's uh, been a long time since we rock and roll, so let's do it. That's it, bro. Yeah, I think the last time we saw each other was at, uh, was it uh, Motley Crue or one of those uh, shows out there at Hard Rock? Yeah, yeah, Motley. Yeah, yeah. good time. Great show, lots of fun. Hey, listen, real quick though, Mark, I know you, my brand, my man, but let let our listeners know you. You give a little, uh, you know, background and some bio, please. Hey, well, uh, back back in the seventies, uh, when I was a teenager uh, in Matawan, New Jersey, I used to sneak into concerts and sell my pictures for a dollar a piece. I used to sneak into the concerts like Led Zeppelin, Kiss, Peter Frampton all the bands that played uh, at the Garden or in Jersey. And uh, and I developed the pictures, bring them to the school the next day and sell them there. Then i sell them in front of the concerts. And, uh, you know, then I started being a little more adventurous and I started selling them, uh, you know, at other concerts. And then I got arrested at a kid's <laughs> concert, went to Circus Magazine the next day, which is the big rock mag, and uh, they like my work, and then next thing you know it, I'm doing uh, shooting Van Halen backstage in 1979, wow. and then the ball started rolling. That's insane, man. Listen, when you talk about Van Halen, I want to say 78 or 79 was my first concert I ever went to, 13, 14 years old, with a couple of my brothers and my uncle, Andy, and uh, what a time that must have been. Listen, I mean, you brought it up, Mark. What was it like to shoot those guys? Because they were ready to just take off at that time, or had they already was at that point? Uh, they didn't do arenas yet. They were playing. Uh, they were playing like you know maybe three thousand seaters, four thousand seaters, but they were definitely the buzz band. It was the it was the second album came out, and that was the album that kind of really took them over to the top. And then and then next year they're playing arenas, and then the rest is history, as they say. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, one of my favorite covers. Uh, you worked with Bon Jovi as well. Can you tell that story briefly? Well, uh, in my book, you know, I have a book out called The Decades That's of Rock. Right. And w- when I was wrapping up the book, I came across these pictures that I didn't know I had. It was John Bon Jovi when he was 18. He was in a band called The Rest. He was opening up for Southside Johnny, and I threw that in the book. And then uh, the, the, the Bon Jovi story is, is like a few years later, they opened up his ZZ Top at the Garden in 1983 where they won that homegrown contest um, in, from Long Island radio station. And uh, I shot them then. And then uh, a couple of years later, I was in L.A. Uh, with Doc McGee and Motley Crue, and Doc was managing this new band that he just picked up called, you know, Bon Jovi. And he said, uh, I think you guys would get along. You know, let's set up a publicity photo shoot for the Fahrenheit album, which was uh, their first album. And... Uh, it was 1985 when we did that. And, uh, you know, the rest is kind of history on that. Because from there, I became their photographer, and Slippery and Wet came out, and they asked me to do the shoot uh, with the, uh, you know, there was a lot of variations, but it ended up being the, you know, John writing on the, the hefty paper ba- uh, plastic bag, Slippery and Wet. But, yeah, you know, traveled around the world, did... Um, uh, Blaze of Glory did the photos with when he was with Elton John and uh, and uh, all the all the celebrities. Jeff Beck, Little Richard. It was an amazing time. So I, I documented that and uh, and then forward on to Keep the Faith in '96, where I toured with him for six weeks doing video and photos. Mm-hmm. So uh, you know, still to this day, we're still in, involved with each other. They're using my plastic photos from from that time era for their uh you know their merchandising which i do with a lot of the bands like molly crew and ozzy and boys and cinderella so you know those those archives are worth some money and uh and it's keeping those images and the times alive you know absolutely 100 percent. i mean as we move on 
in time. I mean, that's the way for us to go back, whether it's the the decade that rocked your, your book and what you do and coming on out to Hard Rock. We're going to talk about that as we're here at the Hard Rock Hotel Casino Studio in Linwood, New Jersey. Talk to us what's happening this week, Mark. Yeah, Atlantic City. We're going to be uh, setting up shop. Chris Wentworth, the uh, owner of uh, the very successful Wentworth Galleries across the country. Uh, I met him, I believe I met him on one of the rock and roll cruises. And at the time, they had uh, a lot of the artwork of, well, they still do, with Paul Stanley and uh, a lot of different artists. Rick Allen, Brian Wheat from Tesla, and uh, Joe Sassiani. So he really... uh, he ties in their art. Now, uh, I I said, why don't we do photography? And he took a chance on me, and he said, sure, let's give it a try. And it's been successful, and this is the first one-man show, uh, and it's exciting that it's in my, kind of my hometown. It's not too far away from me. It's in Atlantic City. And uh, looking forward to meeting people. Uh, I believe there's some, I'll be there from 6 to 9 on Saturday. And I'll be there to talk, tell some stories, and and sell prints, and uh, yeah. So that's that's uh, what's happening this weekend. Hey, so Mark, t- tell us where exactly. Uh, you may have mentioned it. I was having trouble. Where in the Hard Rock will it be at the gallery? It's at the Wentworth Gallery. So right. As soon as, as, soon as you, it's, all you gotta do is do one little one little circle, and you'll see it. It's a huge, uh, it's a huge area. If you went on my social media. Uh, Mark White's guy all the way around. Uh, you can have a little quick little glimpse of what what it's going to look like. And uh, when I was at the Pierre Frampton show, I did a little photo in front of it, so you'll see my silly face, uh, you know, right in front of the Wentworth Gallery. So you'll see the sign Wentworth Gallery. You can't miss it. It's a huge place. The artwork's right in front. Yep. And uh, yeah. Right directly behind folks when you check in, you come in through valet or however you're parking Uber or you're checking in uh, right behind the uh, the lounge bar, man, where it's always popping and jamming over there. It's going to be a great location, great time. Hey, Mark, we got to take a quick break. Are you able to hang around for a few minutes? Of course. Oh, so folks, we'll take this break now, Audra, and we'll bring uh, Mark back uh, in a few minutes. Uh, make sure you check it out, folks. Wentworth Gallery Show. Saturday, September 23rd, 6 to 9 p.m., Hard Rock Hotel Casino. News Talk 1400 and 92.3 WOND welcomes you back to the AC Mike Show. Call in and join the conversation at 609-927-1100. And now, here's A.C. Mike. Hey, folks, welcome back to the show. We're talking with Mark Weiss, uh, the photographer for the uh, uh, decade that rocked this great book that's out. Let, let folks know, Mark, real quick, please, where they can get this book. I know we can come out on Saturday, but where they can catch us in case they're not in the area to be able to make it in person, where they can get their hands on your material, my friend. Yeah, uh, we're not going to have the book available at the uh, okay. gallery. It's not. It's not a book signing. It's an art show. Right. You know, any interest in you know purchasing the the, the art, we want to see you there. You know, uh, but as far as the book, um, I do do book signings. So stay on my social media when I do them. I do them in the tri-state area. But you can get the book, a personalized copy with um, a print, some different goodies. I throw postcards in. Just go to the decade that rocks. The Decade That Rock, that's the name of the book, dot com. Uh, and then you can order your book personalized to yours truly. There it is, folks. I just had four people uh, text me and email me, Mark, so that's the information, folks. But coming out this Saturday, the event, once more, it's going to be from 6 to 9 at the Wentworth Gallery. Uh, The art is what it's all about. I mean, beautiful art in there. Some of the art they're going to be able to look at uh, and purchase, Mark, please. Uh, well, there's going to be anywhere from the early days when I was like uh, still in high school of Led Zeppelin and Man. Queen, and uh, then it goes through the Van Halen, and we got uh, Kiss and Aerosmith and uh, Prince and Guns N' Roses. Jeez, uh, just just uh, almost anyone that anyone that was uh, alive in that tour in the 80s uh they're they're going to be there it's a it's a huge uh gallery it's a huge one man show I'm proud to say and looking forward to seeing everyone there whoever can make it down and afterwards you know buy me a drink 9 o'clock, i'm free 
<laughs> right. And we don't have to go far to get you a drink, too. We go right by the, uh, the the lounge bar, which will be popping, I'm sure. It's just a great time. Listen, what they do at the Hard Rock is like no other. I love our casinos uh, all over Atlantic City and the uh, Marina District as well. And even when I go into Philly uh, as at Connecticut. But there's nothing like what happens out here. The East Coast is where it's at. What do you feel about uh, the, the music scene right now, Mark? Where Where is your head at that with what? what we're hearing and what we're listening to in the way of rock and that type of music. Well, everything's kind of like molded together. Like there's so many different genres and yeah. so many crossovers. Uh, I just actually finished a shoot yesterday. The, these uh, girls from Canada, the Ashley sisters, and uh, they came down to do a, sh- you know, a shoot with me. They saw some of my photographs of Christina Aguilera that I did an album cover for back in the day. And they said, we want that guy. So they came in and we, we spent all day and uh, listened to some of their music, which sound awesome. And, and uh, you know, today it's like it's so uh, social media driven. It, you know, you're your own uh, record company. So, you know, it's it's a lot accessible. If you have good music, you got good imagery, you, you'll you'll make a career out of it like these girls are doing. You know, they, they, they started uh, you know, a few years ago and, doing the Ashley sisters and uh, you know, it's all about the songs and about music and people uh, connecting with them. But, but then, then you go on the other, other end of it, like Peter Frampton, I shot uh, Peter Frampton at, uh, at the hard rock a, a couple months ago. Uh, it was a special night for me because I brought my book. I decided to bring my, my decade that rock and have whoever's in it signed to me, like I kind of like a high school yearbook. So I called management up and I asked if, you know, Peter, uh, would do that because he's in the book for like four pages. We interviewed him for it. And, uh, you know, I, I've seen him a few years ago when, uh, before the book, but this is the first time I had a chance to actually give him his copy. And for me to have him sign mine, he's the first one to do it and had a great time. And then I get a call this week from the management saying, uh, that Peter loved the one photo when the band was bowing at mm. the end, and we, he wanted to use it for a publicity photo, and it's like full circle, because the first shoot I did with Peter was in 1979 wow. with him and his dog Rocky at his house. That I was He hired me for doing publicity when I was like 19 years old. And uh, so it's like it's a full circle. My photo credit will be on this new publicity photograph, which is an honor coming from Peter Frampton. I mean, it's, it's yeah. amazing. So. Those are the good good parts of uh, this, you know. The music lasts uh, as long as you want it to last for. So that's it's that's all about you know staying in touch with your favorite artist, and and you don't have to depend on a magazine or 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 anyone else. Just you know, do your homework, find out where they're playing, and and check them out. That's the beauty of it. I was at that show as well, Lisa, uh, my fiance and I. And uh, that was the first time that I ever got to see him live, uh, Mark. And what an amazing show. What I loved about him, and you, you kind of sense that going through all the years, is just with Peter Frampton, uh, just like the way he interacted with the audience and the great music, bro. You could tell, I mean, and his hands just continued to roll. He sat on that stool for a bit. But just an amazing entertainer and also talent as far as interacting with the audience. Well, what I, what I loved about it, and I'm sure everyone loved it, except for the people that came in late. And he made a few comments. <laughs> yeah, he always, that's right. As he always does. You know, Peter doesn't like like any uh, people that interrupt his his music, and <laughs> yes. I don't blame him. You know, right. uh, so pe- people would come in like after the third song, and I remember making a comment. That's right. A comment like, you know, we already did. Uh, do we feel like we do? And you know, you might as well just leave now. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and he, he, he puts them on the spot. He means it, but he does it where you know, you right. know, he does it in, with a good with a good heart. And you know? just, but, yeah. Like, don't don't do it again. Like you know, I don't think that person like even went to the bathroom after that. Yeah, you know, I was watching that couple too when they walked in. They just hopped at their asses in that seat like you wouldn't believe it. So quick, they just sat down. Who me? But uh, hey, man, listen again. Great show. Uh, I appreciate you coming to uh, the uh, for our listening audience on short notice, Mark. Man, any time, bro, any time you uh, have something going on, please feel free to reach out. Or uh, we go through David, our mutual friend, David Pena uh, from Boogie Nights. 
Uh, I'll be happy to uh, bring you on or whatever it is you need me to do here at WOND. I'd love to help. Love the music. I love what you do. Your story is incredible, bro. That's what it's all about. I was talking with my buddy Vinny Monzo, who's in the, in the studio with me now, young guy who's all into music and whatnot. But, and he's got that same sort of story. You know, just hustle. You got to work. And you know what? You make your own breaks. You know, be present. Be where you're at. You know what I mean? We're always worried about tomorrow, yesterday, this, that. You took something that uh, you loved, I, I take it, you know, uh, so photographing, and you just went with it. Talk, and we only got a few minutes, and I don't mean to put you on the spot as a motivational speaker like that, but talk to some of our listening audience about that type of thing. Well, it's funny you should say that because, you know, at this, this time of my career and my life, I, I want to, I'm mentoring some people, I'm sharing, I'm, I, I started doing these photo workshops, and they're rewarding, and I, I want to start speaking at colleges and and kind of like not teach. I don't want to teach them photography because you know these new kids with all the digital that they can they they got me under the bus on that because you know I'm I'm a simple shooter. I, I see what I like and I shoot. You know uh, uh, I'm and what my advice is to, that I give at these little talks that I have is just like you know you have a passion for photography or anything really. You just got to stick to it. Don't give up and and just you know you meet one person and you just keep going you know, opening up the doors, you know, kicking them down. And, and if you love what you're doing, it's not work. So I, I strongly, you know, whatever you were doing, listen, if you love being an accountant and love numbers and that turns you on, then I have nothing against it, you know, do it, make a living. But listen, taking photographs of rock bands and touring with them and playing music in rock bands and having an audience adulation. I mean, come on, what tops that? <laughs> right. It's a no-brainer to this kid right here, and I'm no kid. I would have loved doing it. Hey, but listen, r- real quick, Mark, too. Uh, I'll put this out there as well. I mean, I have a nice relationship with Stockton University, uh, uh, Atlantic Cape Community College, as well as a couple of the other ones around here locally. Not that you need me, brother, but if you uh, want to get together after this show, maybe talk a little next week and see if we could do something at the uh, campus in Galloway or, or Atlantic City here and some of the others, I'd be happy to help with that, man. Well, yeah, that's you know, what I mean. You know, one door opens opens another, and and if I have the time, and which I do, you know, squeeze it. I I always find time for things like that because, like you say, I tell my kids, and I ended my book on this. Uh, I I have a little caricature that one of my a fan. I got a fan mail once from Japan, and they drew this little little character, and I loved it. So I put it in the back of my book, and the the saying that. I mean, it's, I don't know how original it is, but if you don't go, you don't know. So that's mm. what I tell my kids. That's what I tell anyone. And that's how I start my, my, my little uh, talks when I start. If you don't go, you don't know. If you don't go to that club, it's just like if, if, uh, if I didn't go to that, um, if I didn't go to, my friend didn't go to this club to see Zach Wild, he me, you know, brought him to me to bring to Ozzy, Zach wouldn't be an Ozzy. So it's like he went and, he told me about it, and the rest is history. So there's a lot of those moments, you know, yep. you know people that I met that it, it took me to the next level in my career. And I'm sure it is, like, with musicians and with anyone, really. Right. So Got to show an up. opportunity to watch TV or to go out and meet someone that could be something that, you know, or even just go to a club. You never know who you're going to meet. You know, I say go out there. Just get off your phones. And, and and socialize. That's you, it. Socialize. You know? That's it. Yeah. yeah. Literally. Hey, Mark, listen, I'll be reaching out again. We got about a minute. Please tell everyone where you're going to be this weekend as well, how to get there and what they're doing. All right. Just go to the Hard Rock uh, Casino Hotel. Uh, I'll be on this on the ground floor. So you just go to the ballet, go right or left. You can go either way and you'll run into the, the Wentworth Gallery. is the big sign. You go to my uh, social media, Mark Weiss guy, and you can see me in front of the gallery, so you will definitely won't miss it. And uh, have some fun at the Hard Rock, you know, get some dinner there and take some, get some friends, have a couple drinks, and uh, come visit me. Most important, visit me at 6, six to 9, and, and uh, my original artwork will be available on, uh, at there. It's on, we have it on metal, we have it on canvas, we have it on print. So it's uh, it's going to be a good time, and I, I love talking to the fans and people about my experiences. So you know, don't be shy.
Thank you so much, uh, so much, Mark. We'll be out there, and I'm going to continue to put this out there. I'll be talking about it as well tomorrow on our show. Look forward to seeing you this weekend, bro, and I'll be uh, reaching out as far as that uh, speaker type thing, see if you got some time for some of the students out here in South Jersey. Thank you so much. Mark Weiss, be at Hard Rock on Saturday the 23rd, 6 to 9, Wentworth Gallery. Thank you, Mark. All right, you got it, brother. Thanks, you got Mike. it, bro. Peace, man. Hey, folks, listen, so glad you joined us today. Vinny, thank you for hanging out with us here. We'll be talking about more of that, uh, what's happening with you next week. You're very welcome, man. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. Hey, folks, live, work, play, AC. Stay tuned for Dan Klein, 2 Ooh. to 4.